Hey you guys, welcome to I Cook and Paint. So tonight I was painting this beautiful view of the Queensboro Bridge. Then all of a sudden these clouds rolled in and it poured like crazy. And now that it stopped raining, it's too dark to paint. What a bummer. Oh well, I'm pretty much gonna give up for tonight, but now it's gonna be a good chance for me to show you how to make black and white cookies. This is New York's favorite cookie and the one that you're looking at here, I actually picked up from a bakery. I didn't make this one but I wanted you to see how it's almost as much a cake as it is a cookie. I'm super addicted to these right now, so it's kind of a good thing they're easy to make at home. My recipe for black and white cookies tastes just like the ones you get in New York. I don't know why we're waiting, so let's start. Right here I have some dry ingredients, so I'm measuring some cake flour into a little sifter here. And to this I'm going to add a little bit of baking powder and a little bit of salt. So I'm going to mix that together. And now I'm going to sift it two times. Using two sheets of wax paper will make this way easier for you. So now you do that again. And then just set it aside. Okay, now I'm going to cream together some soft butter with some sugar. So use an electric mixer and slowly add in the sugar. You're looking for a mixture that's light and fluffy. And of course, don't forget to scrape the sides of that bowl. Make sure everything gets well mixed in. Beat this for about two minutes. Now I'm gonna add in one egg. And you know what guys? I did add the egg, but I totally forgot to hit record. Sorry about that, jeepers creepers. Anyway, the egg is in there. Now I'm gonna add some lemon zest and some vanilla extract. Okay, now we're going to take our dry ingredients and add them alternately with our milk. So add in some of the flour mixture, and then pour some milk over that. Now here's a good trick to avoid making a mess. Before you turn the mixer on, just get it started by hand first. That way your flour won't go flying all over the place. This is a part of the recipe that you're going to have to scrape down the bowl a lot. Do this in about three or four stages. Usually after the second edition, I switch from the electric mixer to a spatula. And one thing I learned in culinary school is that you should always start and finish with the dry ingredients. Don't ask me why, that's just how it is. All right, now we're gonna bake these, but first you wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And I have here two baking sheets that I've lined with parchment paper. Now I like my black and white cookies nice and big, so I'm using a third of a cup of batter for each one. You can make them smaller if you want to. I'm going to put four on each tray with about two inches in between each one. And now I'm going to take some cold water and dip my finger in it and press each cookie down slightly. So you want each one of these to be about three and a half inches in diameter. Now these are going to go into the oven and we're going to bake them for about 12 to 15 minutes. It really depends on what your oven's like. You'll know they're ready when they spring back a little bit when you press on them. You're almost better off slightly under baking them than over baking. You want to let them cool for about 5 minutes on the baking sheets and then remove them onto racks to cool completely. These have to be totally cooled before we put the frosting on. They don't look very exciting now, but give it a chance. Okay, now we're going to make the frosting. So I have here 2.5 cups of icing sugar, and when I weighed this, it was 365 grams. And to this, I'm going to add some vanilla, and I'm slowly going to add some cold water, one tablespoon at a time. So I'm going to start off with three tablespoons and then just start mixing it in. Altogether, I ended up using five tablespoons of water, but when you're doing this at home, you might need a little bit more or less, depending on how much moisture is in your icing sugar. So mix it together well until you end up with a frosting that looks something like this. It should be fairly thick, but not so thick that you can't spread it. Okay, by now your cookie should be cooled completely, and this is the side we're going to spread the icing on. It's the ugly underside. So now, spread half of each cookie with the white frosting. Don't try and make this look too perfect. It's going to make a big difference when the chocolate goes on. And don't be afraid to let that frosting drip down the sides, because they look better that way. And now we're going to add some cocoa powder to the already existing white frosting to make it chocolate. So, it's a good idea to sift it, because cocoa powder can be pretty lumpy. 
If you get a lot of lumps of cocoa in your frosting, they're really hard to get rid of, so definitely sift it. And like before, we're going to have to add some more water, so I added 2 tablespoons. You're going for the same consistency that the white frosting was. And a really good hint about this part, really scrape the sides of that bowl. You want every trace of white frosting to disappear. Now spread the other half of each cookie with the chocolate, and you're going to notice that by now the white side will be setting up. This icing might seem pretty sweet to you, but the cookie itself isn't very sweet at all, so don't skip it. Now let these set for about 2 hours. It might take even longer if it's really warm. The frosting hardens up, but not so much that you can't bite through it. To store them in a container, they have to be between layers of paper, but I usually just individually wrap them. Look at that! Now this cookie here is one of the ones I just made. And just like the one I showed you earlier, this one is cakey, and it's lemony and vanilla-y. Like always guys, you can get this complete recipe just by clicking the link in the description box below. And if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to subscribe to iCook and Paint. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you soon!